Ladies and gentlemen, and truly free software lovers of all ages, welcome to another installment of How To with M2. As we strike with the precision and speed of a ninja, go to your Google search engine and type in OBS Studio and click on Download. And this is the screen you will see. This video will give you the basic instructions on OBS Studio for Windows. To get started, let's click on Download Installer. It will take about 8 to 10 seconds to load. Once you get everything started, this will be your user interface screen. OBS Studio really does have it all. It's an open broadcast system. It is a video recorder system. It can use multiple video cameras, multiple microphones. It can record your voice and your computer system sound. It can do so many things. But for this video, we're just going to touch on the basics. This is one of the most beautiful things about OBS Studio. You really don't need to do anything in settings. By default, you will be ready to go. Please note that by default, the lower left box has screen. Also by default, the next box over says display capture. So with screen, and display capture, we are ready to press on start recording. Once we do, we will have a recording of everything that is on our screen. And by default, your audio will also be on. For this most basic function, the only thing left to know is where is your recording? So go to File on the upper left, click on File, then click on Show Recordings, and you will see the location that OBS Studio has decided to store your video files. The standard video file, again by default, is MP4. One more thing I would like to show you before I cut you loose to go video capture crazy is how to stop your recording. After you click start recording, the button will automatically change to stop recording. So you simply click on the same button you used and that will halt the recording and start a new file when you click start recording again. I highly recommend you use that when you feel you need a break so that you know where individual portions of your overall recording will be. Of course there is a counter but that is the easiest way I have found to track what I have recorded. Also, especially for you gamers out there, you can do the same procedure for streaming and can control streaming by the same method of clicking start and stop. I have purposefully kept this video short and sweet. I was getting somewhat discouraged by watching other tutorials on OBS Studios. Way too long-winded and much too much information for something that actually is quite simple and is ready to go by default. So give it a try. There is nothing irreversible that you can do on OBS Studios. Except if you are streaming, please be careful that you do not go haywire while streaming. Other than that, give all the options a try. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this program. It is absolutely free. It's not just the free download. It is free. I have never seen yet where they have attempted to charge for anything for any reason. So enjoy, and thank you for watching.